Hey folks, how you doing? Welcome back. It's Charlie. It's Sunday, April 29th. It's about midday. It's been about a bit of a gloomy day. Kind of start off with a big marine layer, kind of overcast. So yeah, kind of bundled up. I'm kind of, at least I'm cold. So, the real reason why I went to Vegas. So I've been back since uh, last Tuesday morning. Uh, got my bus out of Vegas around 1 o'clock, left around 1.30. Uh, we weren't supposed to get back into downtown LA at Union Station until 8 o'clock. Got there a little early, 7 o'clock. Driver did good timing, but I could have used the extra hour sleeping on the bus. This time I got to sleep. On the way out there, I was, and I, I don't know, maybe I was just excited or whatever. But, so, what happened with me being so, so sick these last several times, and one time, I was out for like a day, day and a half, um, I ended up losing my job. I uh, basically just lost too much work. And then the last time, uh, since I was like completely out of it and didn't call them, it was more or less like a, they said it was like a no call, no show. So, you know, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna argue with it. I'm not gonna try to take any legal action because honestly, First of all, yeah, I'm, I'm homeless, you know, and I lied on my um, on my application. So just lying on on a job application gives them any right to terminate you for for lying. So that's the last thing your employer wants to know is that you lied. So especially in this situation where um, I'm around food and stuff like that, there. Are, Concern is always going to be hygiene and stuff like that. I can understand that. So, no, I'm not even. I'm not going to be. I'm not, I'm not angry about it, you know. It lasted this long. Shoot, I've been working there since early, early December, since the first week of December, up until a week ago. So, really kind of amazed. And I'm not too worried about it because I'll, I'll, I'll be able to get another job here soon. So. Issue, so you know, and a friend of mine says, you know, well, on an average, maybe four hours of sleep, maybe less, every day, especially with working and getting back so late and what have you. So yeah, I'm not giving myself. I'm not giving my body the rest that it needs. And yeah, it would be a little bit easier if I had a home. Maybe I wouldn't be so exposed to the elements. I don't know. That, that's the only thing I can make sense. But being homeless and trying to maintain a full-time job is 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 very difficult. It's not it's it's not impossible, but it makes things very difficult. And working in fine dining, working split shifts for lunch and then having to come back for dinner and not having a place to come back to to rest, to get some proper rest, eat a good meal and then go back to work. It just doesn't work. I just, I don't get that. So I don't get that quality of, of life. So hopefully I can find something else maybe in retail again and where I can at least get four, six, eight hours a day instead of working these split shifts because it just it's so difficult. It's like I said, it's not impossible, but it's damn near impossible. So anyway, my friends, um, I just want to let you know, and and thank you for everybody that's been so concerned. But I just I needed to get my I needed to regroup and get my head together again. So I'm trying to form your light formulate a, a plan out here and see how I'm going to approach this so and we're coming into the summertime so there's a lot of work there's a lot of work right now so 
you know, the YouTuber rig matters this far, so getting a job, that's no big deal. I can, I can do that. Now that I know that I can get another job, so that I got a job. So. Anyway, thank you guys for all your concerns. Um, like I said, I just want to touch base with you and let you guys know what's up. I will post this video up as soon as I can. And in the meantime, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but always take care of yourselves first. Love one another, trust one another, help each other, and be kind to each other. We've had too many, too much racism and too much hatred in our country here lately, and it's just, come on, man. Places of business acting like that. Starbucks, Waffle House, Waffle House, my... My favorite southern eatery. I used to go to Waffle House all the time when I was in Florida. Come on. So, don't take today for granted or any other day thereafter. Live for a moment. Put on your pants and slide on the ice. And, um,. Yeah, just keep me in your prayers, keep me in your thoughts, throw a little positive energy my way and just send it through space and let me get it so I can get a job. Yes, I know that this is a perfect opportunity for you folks to say that maybe you could get a job in Vegas. It's not so easy. It's not so easy to pick up and move when you're homeless and just moving somewhere else. Yeah, I wouldn't even know where to start. If I had a vehicle, maybe, yeah, but being on foot, no, it's not going Anyway, my friends, thank you so much. I love you all. Take care. Bye-bye.